What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Commander Versus Series uh, Special Edition Season. What season is this? 19. 19? Season 9th Quarantine. No, oh, you that's like that? not good. That was pathetic. Uh, Justin Parnell, John Suarez, Jeremy Noll, and then Stephen Green in that order. Now, uh, some of you may notice, some of you may not, because you probably know this part. Uh, but we are not in our comfortable studio with Carnox chairs when it's probably too hot and the pins have been chewed on by people that produce other shows. And we may not have the points from last season in front of us. <laughs> and uh, Big and, dice. Steven, and Steven's name in our chat might be Red Beck wins or it might not. We don't know. <laughs> <sighs> I'm leaving. <laughs> One thing I can say is that season 19, and I'm not wearing any pants. I'm recording Commander Versus. Are you yeah, sure it's all... 19? Do you have no I'm not sure. No, it's uh, just what I heard from Kyle. Okay. So here's what's going to happen for season 19. We are going to attempt to record Commander Versus from the comfort of our own homes um, as to attempt to follow along with social distancing guidelines. Now, the second part we'll be able to do, uh, will it be good? That's for you to decide. Um, <laughs> we're certainly going to try. Steven's all about it. Uh, yeah, Steven, are you also, are you wearing pants or no? Yes. <laughs> I put <laughs> pants on. I put pants on for this because I had to readjust the camera. So wow. See, I took pants yeah. off. For but you had your camera already. See, I asked what rating this show was going to be since we were filming from home, but no one gave me the, the answer I actually wanted, so I'm right. fully dressed. Mm. There's no NC-17. Yeah. So Jeremy's obviously dressed. I'm not going to ask him. Yeah. Steven was really the only host. I don't think Steven's... I don't think Jeremy's ever naked. Look at him. <laughs> never nude. Even, even in the shower. Never nude. Yeah, even in the there shower. There are dozens of us. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, we're starting off this season with a bang and not just because we are here, but because we have something very special in front of us each individually. Uh, and that is the commander 2020 pre-constructed decks. Okay. Jeremy, I now, Jeremy, away. you didn't tell uh, us back there. On you're the... gonna hold on, hold on, hold on. I can, I can put mine together real quick. It's no, just gonna... it's gone. It's in the trash. It's gone. There you go. Steven, yeah, mine's so... back there. Steven's the yeah. I threw it away. Yep. If you Crash. zoom in really hard, you could see it behind me. Won't, won't uh, so it. we are playing the we from our friends at Wizards of the Coast gave us a early, much earlier than we thought when we were when we initially uh, were told we were going to get it, but an early edition of Commander 2020. You, maybe you can get this at your store. Maybe you can't. Good luck. That's yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, know. Wizards did say that they were going to have a slightly smaller allotment of specifically the Commander decks than they had originally anticipated. So. But you know it's better. Acoria was is currently pushed back to May fifteenth. Commander did not get pushed back, but it was significantly reduced. So hopefully this episode can hold you over until you're able to get this the hands on uh, these decks for yourself. So without further ado, uh, we're not going to do we're going to do deck text, but we're going to just hold the cards up to the camera because uh, it, it's too much effort for Kyle to switch to our overhead camera. That's true. Yeah. So. We're just going to go. So I am playing uh, Janira Kudra. Can everyone see this? Yep. So this is uh, Mardu human, and it's human tribal for this deck. When Janaru, Janaru Kunra, Kudra, Kudro enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 human soldier creature for each time you've cast a commander from the command zone this game. And other humans you control get plus 2, plus 0. So Pretty good, pretty good little tribal tribalness. And uh, I have three cards new to the commander product. We have Verge Rangers, which is a card that is uh, a lot of people have brought up about White's improvement based on a couple of cards in this commander set. This is one of them. First strike. Uh, you could look at the top card of your library at any time. Three, three for three. And as long as an opponent controls more lands than you, you can play lands from the top of your deck. 
That's pretty Sweet good. Part. I actually yeah. quite like that one. I like playing uh, more. Then we have Titan Hunter. Uh, at the beginning of each player's instep, if no creature died this turn, Titan Hunter deals four damage to that player. Okay, yeah. you got that? The beginning of each player's instep, if no creatures died this turn. So if on my turn, if no creatures died, I'm going to take four. If on John's turn, no creatures died on his turn, he's going to take four. So it encourages you to kill creatures if you want to live. It encourages you yeah. to be mean. Four. Yeah. Plus or sacrifice your own creatures, which is what my plan is, and it also lets you do that for uh, two mana, and you gain four life instead of lose four. Yeah, but you make us all participate in your religion of sacrifice. I don't like that. Uh, that is correct. Plus, it's got that sweet like chainsaw sword. Thing. It is. It's like it reminds me of. Um, imagine, if you will, uh, cloud sword from Final Fantasy, except instead of a big Buster sword, it's a chainsaw. It's it's a combination of Cloud's Buster Sword and the Gears Award chainsaw gun mm. thing too. There you go, excellent. And then uh, we have what is one of the best cards in the deck, I would imagine, which is Flawless Maneuver. Now this is one of the maneuvers. One that one is in each deck, and this says if you control a commander, you can cast a spell that spank its mana cost, and it says creatures you control are indestructible till end turn. So. Well, you might try to destroy my creatures. I will not let you. I give them indestructible, John. Yeah, does it? It'll probably be you, so I'm just letting you know that I ah. have that. It probably will be John. I believe John would be the one to attack us. I think he uh, will. Just so you know. I don't think will. I'll be attacking very often. I what will be attack? cycling a lot, though. I have been lucky enough to be gifted the Gavi Nest Warden Timeless Wisdom deck. Um, if you're not familiar with this, this fantastic card. Uh, Gavin, I like you, but I'm a little irked by your name being in the card. It's a little weird, but, you know, <laughs> congratulations. You do an awesome job. And uh, gave, gave you a gift, gave himself a gift. Exactly. So Gavi Nest Warden is a Jeskai Commander, 2-5 for two colors, blue, red, white. And it says, you may pay zero rather than the cycling cost of the first card you cycle each turn. And in Commander, we get four turns, essentially, to cycle for free, which is fantastic. And whenever I draw the second card each turn, I create a 2-2 red and white dinosaur cat token. It's important, that last creature type that you adorable. get. Adorable. It is adorable. And that's incredibly powerful. Uh, yeah, I feel like they just threw that last part on for free for no reason. Yeah, it really the didn't would, need the to be. The card would have been fine if it just let you cycle for free. It would have been, yes. It'd just be an improved uh, fluctuator, essentially. Um, so the cards I chose for my deck tech, I chose this very sweet Spell Pyre Phoenix. And it says uh, it's a flying five mana 4-2. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, you may return an instant or sorcery card with cycling ability from your graveyard to your hand. So you get to rebuy your great cycling cards that you had to cycle early. Uh, and at the beginning of each end step, if you cycle two or more cards this turn, you get to return this from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty That's good. Pretty sweet. So it is a recurring Phoenix. Uh, the other card I chose, uh, one of uh, Ben Blyweiss exclusive, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, is Ethereal, for <laughs> Ethereal for Forger. Uh, this is an elemental whale. Some people may believe this is the most. This is the best card in Legacy. Uh, only one person believes that. You're right. Only one. Yep. Uh, it is a three-three with flying and delve. Now, historically, delve cards are pretty powerful, as long they as are. you ignore the, you know, like the Fate Reforged ones, the dead drop and all of those. Hey, uh, Gurmag Angler from Fate Reforged. Gurmag Angler is very, very good. Uh, very but powerful effect. Three-three flying for six. Uh, whenever it attacks, you may return an instant or sorcery card that was exiled with Ethereal Forger to its owner's hand. So, not bad. You know, you get to rebuy some cards that you dealt away to make this cheap. And I like rebuying cards, because you didn't know. Uh, the other card I chose, which I'm very excited about, because this is like the most expensive card in the deck, mana cost-wise, and it's not Stormherd, because I hate Stormherd, uh, is Herald of the Forgotten. Yeah. This card it is, the, it is the same CMC as Stormheart, though. Uh, I think Stormheart's 10. You would know. That card is awful. Yeah. Eight so, white, white. Herald of Forgotten is 8. It is 6 white, white. Okay. Flying 6 6 cat beast. And when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, 
Now, the key here is not from your hand, just if you cast it. Just in general. Just in general. Return any number of target permanent cards with cycling abilities from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's pretty good. It's yep. pretty, pretty insane. Getting to pretty get good. your astral drift that someone's destroyed, getting to yeah. get back any of the creatures that have been destroyed. I uh, imagine once you upgrade that one, it's also the cycling lands and everything, too. Yeah, any target permanent. So, yeah. lands are... Uh, and I don't have to upgrade it because this deck comes with every single cycling land in its color, except for uh, Blasted Landscape. Really? Could they couldn't think, couldn't splurge on Blasted Landscape? No, they chose Ash Barons instead. That's Ash Barons pretty good. Yeah, Ash Barons really good. So, Saga but it has it has the Saga cycling lands, the Onslaught cycling lands, and the Omnicut cycling lands. Okay. Yeah. So, looking forward to it. To land, but no, no, that would be a little much. It would be a little much. <laughs> Steven, what are you getting over there? Well, we got uh, Calamax, the Stormsire. Calamax! Yep. I like that guy. I can't tell if you can see it or not. I think He no. reminds me of the... Uh, can we see the fact that you're holding a card, or can we see the card clearly? You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, What's Calamax, Calamax do? It says, uh, whenever you cast your first instant spell each turn, if it, uh, Calamax, the Stormsire, is tapped, copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. And uh, whenever you copy an instant spell, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on the creature. You like that? You have to say Calamax with fury and meaning. I don't. Calamax sounds like, like, an, Calamax. like an Calamax. Calamax. It would be a good rock song title, but I mean, it's whatever. So we got some little Calamax action. The first card I'm going to show you is Deflecting Swat. I haven't looked at all of them, but this one seems really strong too. Yours gave them indestructible. It did. Mine gives. Uh, mine's a negate. Mine redirects. You know, a spell's target for free. Yeah, that's Mine pretty good. Exile target creature. Yeah. Yeah. So this good. one kind of protects from all the rest of them, kind of except the indestructible. I also. Yeah. Uh, I got this really cool uh, artifact here called Twinning Staff. That's going to cost like seven, right? Calling. No, no. It costs uh, three mana, and it says three mana artifact. If you would copy a spell one or more times, instead copy it that many times plus an additional time. You may choose new targets for the additional copy. And for seven mana, you can tap it and copy target instant or sorcery you control. Okay. But for three mana, it's just, if you reverberate, you get two. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty. That's pretty strong. Yeah, I think it is. And then the last card I chose was Curious Herd, which is uh, four mana, uh, one green, three colorless, instant. Choose target opponent. You create X, three, three green beast tokens, where X is the number of artifacts that player controls. That seems really strong. Yeah. yeah. Strong. This deck, I was, looking at the, you copied it. I was looking at the deck list. You can have a curve of Lightning Greaves on turn two, because that's in the deck, uh -huh. into Twinning Staff on turn three, into Calamax on turn four. Yes. I don't want you to do that, though. And then after that, the lots of crazy stuff will happen. Th then it doesn't. Then it probably it, you, any yeah. spell you cast is probably. Uh, that'll be it'll be it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We call Calamax Spike from now on. Is that okay? You mean call him Spike? Spike? Everybody loved the land before time. Yeah. I'll call him Spike. Okay, so Spike. There you go. That's good. Spike. See, it's yeah. good. Yeah, I like it. Jeremy, you're last. All right. Well, I've got save, the, save the best for first, but you're going last. The best. We've got the one that uh, we've already gone over. This was our exclusive preview deck, which was the Matrimi, the Ever Playful, the uh, the Sultai one. Uh, so this one's the Mutate deck. It's uh, you know, is three black, green, blue for a six six, but its Mutate is one black, green, blue. Trample whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, return target creature card with Mutate from your graveyard to your hand. So. Um, so there's probably going to be big stacky boys on my field. Yeah. Um, That'll be really yeah. easy over, over webcam. Yeah. 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 <laughs> super, super easy here. I mean, it'll probably be super easy in person too. You know, yeah. This, uh, like that kind of mechanic. So the other one that I've got here that I think is, is a lot of fun is a uh, saw tusk demolisher, which is another mutate card, like which is one, one of the ones 
that says um, this one's a, normally a six six for four green green, but it's got mutate three and a green trample, and then it has uh, basically uh, beast within stuck to it. Whenever this creature mm -hmm. mutates, destroy target non creature permanent. Its controller creates a three three green beast creature token. So I hope you all have your three three beasts with you. Ready to go. We definitely let do. Right, let me let me look. I got yep. one, two, three. Ooh, I got four. Nice. Not a single one. Yep. <laughs> Fresh so, out, fresh out of three three. Way to go, uh, John. The other one is the mana. I got some extra tokens Raptor, here, which is uh, one that's in our reveal video. We we some of us were right, some of us were wrong. And the oh wrong, no, uh, it's okay. Go ahead. You don't have to, don't have to hide uh, names. Uh, uh, Wade, under Hopefully. the bus. Hopefully. Under the bus. No, yeah. it's fine. I didn't no, name it's names. Okay. It's okay. So it says. Yeah, it's a three mana artifact that says it enters the battlefield tapped. It has all activated abilities of all lands on the ba battlefield, and you may spend mana as though it were a mana of any color to pay the activation costs of mana escape refractors. Uh, so the deck also has three of the Ravnica crew lands, the bounce lands that add two. Um, so it can actually make two extra mana. Uh, it can be a rogue's passage and make something unblockable, things of that nature from this deck specifically. It can um, do it all. That's pretty cool. It can do you can do a lot of stuff. Are you sure this isn't a new rule with Ikoria? There's a lot of new rules going on. They changed uh, a bunch are. of layers. They changed four like four different layers and Yeah. It's it, there's a lot of rules going on with mutate specifically as well, which we'll I'm sure we'll get into. Uh the last one is a cycle of cards that I know that everybody has. Um the one that I'm pointing out is Parasitic Impetus. Uh, and there's an there are enchantment auras, and I think everybody has a cycle of three in their colors in each of the decks. Uh, enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and is goaded. Uh, and then whenever enchanted creature attacks, its controller loses two life, and you gain two life. So mm -hmm. I think there's they're all enchant other people's creatures, mm -hmm. and they gain a bonus, but are goaded, so they don't attack you. And then you also get a bonus because they have to attack other people. You can so, enchant your creature with it. I really you, hate that word. You can for sure. Like this one doesn't really makes sense because it says its controller loses two life and you gain two life, so you're just at you're basically giving it plus two, plus two. Yep. This one's pretty good. Marshall, I have, I have a white one. Marshall imps. Chain of Creature gets... I'm not going to tell y'all. <laughs> keep it a secret. You know, okay, wait. I'm going to look it up. I have my laptop over here. This isn't like the studio. Yeah. 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 Yeah, not so. going, I got a whole list of cards up here. You didn't even I know. do. I actually have... Yeah. I have all three of your decks up. Oh, so you, you think I remembered it. Spike was the name of that dinosaur from Land Before Time? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, why would you be open about that? You're supposed to keep that <laughs> close to the chest and tell us later. Well, I like Petri well, a lot, so not, we're not all sharing stuff. I don't Suddenly, have any pants. John's looking up Land Before Time references. It's fine. <laughs> Suddenly, John, take my pants off. Bastion of pop culture references. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> um, all right, so we uh, since we're at the, the beginning of a new season. Uh, we have a points update, right, Kyle? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, oh, we don't? Yeah, we have a points yeah. update. Okay. Um, you want to break that down for us? I don't have paper in front of me, so since you can uh, call in listener. Yeah. Um, so basically to recap season 18, uh, Jeremy okay. had 30 points and everyone else had less. Question mark. <laughs> Dead. Just less. Great. So I clearly was in third. second with twenty nine and three quarters. Good. Yeah. Which means we all tied for fourth, except for Jeremy. Yeah. No, you didn't have twenty nine. Then. Well, he said we all had less, so I'm just assuming that means we all had the exact same. No, no, no. There's a, there's an the exact same. standing, and I'm sure I'm in second. Don't worry about it though. Got just, it. First or yeah. last. Got it. That's true. So, no, Ricky, you can even be second. So, so Jeremy is uh, is the winner. Of season nineteen, season eighteen, not season nineteen. He won't be the winner of season nineteen. You can you can mark my words, um, but he'll be going first as his reward. He's just in everything you say is just like big talk. You're just going to attack me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll, have, have to, I'll have I'll have more minutes in play, and you'll be like, "Oh, Steven's over there doing some guy attacking him." What does Jeremy, Jeremy win attacking again? Attacking you? What does oh, me attacking you have to do with Jeremy not winning, winning this season? <laughs> those <laughs> like those hate things will be true. Yeah, you guys get these hate filled uh, like goggles on when it comes to me. You know, and you, just, <laughs> you can't look past your hatred of me to like assess the threats of the other people at the table. That's what happened last season. That is, that is definitely what I'm known for. 
Yeah, just mindlessly attacking me. I just, yeah. I'm tired of it. I'm calling it's not, it it's not anyone else. <laughs> are you are you wearing a kettle instead of pants, Stephen? <laughs> I am. Not. Anyway, um, all right. So I assume we don't have any uh, any pictures or anything like that. No. Yeah, do we have a point screen? Kyle, come on! I know someone submitted one. How do you know that? So. So we ha- we so so someone submitted a bubble, but we don't have one. Yeah, I don't think he's ready with it. Is what it is. I I will give you this one time, Kyle, because there's been a lot of time, like a in between time here. Yeah, we're... definitely not enough time to figure it out. Well, yeah, yeah. but I mean, <laughs> he might have had it three weeks ago. Leave him alone, okay? Sure. Well, here oh, true. there he goes. Go. Oh, he's okay. going. I see it. He's we, literally he's literally all, checking all... checking yeah. as we speak. April first. April first. Look at that. Yeah. That's what happened last time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's good. There you go. Okay. So, all right. That's a good one. So you can put that one up. We're not doing this live or anything. Yeah. Hey, do we have any other ones? March eleventh. That's probably old. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who knows? No, that's gonna be from the Alora. That's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be from that yeah. stupid game where you game you... life. Well, you got to put it up anyway because now they got to know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we only have the one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. Well, in that case, uh, if you guys are ready and you folks are ready, welcome to season nine quarantine. We'll see you in the game. <sighs> All right, Jeremy. Somebody it's your it is your right as winner. Wait, no, that means I go last. No, yeah, yeah you go last. It. Thornwood falls. I'm gonna go up to 41, and then pass the. So track. glad right. I'm not keeping track of life for him to do that. Yeah, I'm not right. keeping track of life either. All right, so we have to call out all the card names very clearly, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play Nomad Outpost. Uh, this is a land from Commander 2020, <laughs> and there's the battlefield tapped. <laughs> You can, tap, he, he can say read it. He just said call a red, white, or black. Justin, do me a favor. You ready? Only the weak imprison themselves right, behind. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna draw. We Shut live up. free under the wind. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play one of my cycling lands tapped. It is rewrote farm. Go ahead. I enjoyed your nonsense. Justin. I'm gonna play an Orin Reef the Vastwood tapped. Yeah. Orin Reef. That's a rare. Isn't it though? Yeah. It does have a gold mana symbol. Swamp. All three of my colors. What are you doing? Go ahead. What am I doing? I had all three of my colors on the first turn. Didn't I know? You're, 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 you're way better at this than I am. I know. The other two, though. Oh, my name's Justin. I had all my colors. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Spine Rock Knoll. Oh, there are two of them. Spine Rock Knoll is a way. Oh, land. my God. I'm going to untap. It has, it has a way. I got to hide away. Look at the top four <laughs> and draw. I assume you're done after that, Justin. Right? I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. And I won't show. I won't show anyone what's under Spine Rock Knoll. Put it under there, though. I did. I put it under there. Yeah, you better I'm play Mountain, and then I'm going to play uh, a card that most people probably thought was reserved, Fluctuator. Jokes on them. Wait, do you have really had a turn to Fluctuator? I do. Jeez. Now That's... I need cycling cards to do more. But how many uh, bleeps do we get in this video? None, Stephen. No, we get none. Okay. Because I really want to tell John to go. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll go. All right. How go do you to, feel about his turn to fluctuate? Go to Bleep City. I'll play an island. Um, it's from Icoria. I'm done. Stephen, that's unnecessary. You're just wasting time. <laughs> I'm going to play a forest. It is also from Icoria. And then I am going to tap three mana and play Manascape Refractor. Comes in a play tapped. That seems yeah. pretty good. You guys get a fluctuator on turn two. I was just checking to see if anyone Passed. else got that. No, you don't. I didn't. Not okay. at all. Just to, just clear it up. I'm going to play a swamp, uh, and then I'm going to play Kelsine the Plague. It has uh, vigilance and haste, and has plus one plus one for each experience counter I have. Uh, 
and I can tap it to deal one damage target creature. I don't control when that creature dies this turn, I get an experience counter. However, it does have haste. And Jeremy, you were the winner of last season, so I'm gonna attack you for two. Yeah, Sorry. Jeremy. Now this won't this won't happen for long. Like right now, he momentarily looked at you. I'm sure I'll put a permanent in play and he'll attack me. Nico. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. Well, the vigilance and haste. I got to be honest. I didn't know it had uh, haste until I until literally I was reading the card out loud. So had I not done that jokingly for all these other cards, I probably would have missed that. Why, anyway, Jeremy? Take two. I'm taking two. I'm at Thirty-nine. I'm done after that. All right. But on tap. Draw. I will play an exotic orchard. And I have green and blue. I have green and blue. I'll play a new magic card. Crystalline Resonant Red. Bleh. Can't even pronounce that. Uh, Resonance. Sure, that's the name of it. Whenever you cycle a card, you may have this card <laughs> become a copy of another target permanent until your next turn, except it has this ability. All right, that's pretty good. So, so uh, Fletcher makes them two less or three? Two less. Two less. Okay, so you could make them four less. Uh, if I Until the end of my next turn, yes, I could. I will be done. At the end of your turn, I'm going to cast Growth Spiral. All right. And I'm going to put a mountain into play. Get my turn. This is my uh, experience counter. Forest, I'm going to cast my general. It is a it was a gift, um, and it has a, of all of the different Kamigawa set symbols. Uh, nice. And my general um, Spike, uh, Calamax, the Storm Sire, and you're up, Jeremy. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. I will. I will try to head this off a little bit. Uh, tap. Pay three, cross and grip the fluctuator. Sure. Hey! hey, hey. And That's pretty good. Pass the turn. Jeremy, pass the I like what you did. Yeah, I, mean, I thought I thought that one was... would stop attacking you needlessly, but I just don't feel like that's going to happen. <laughs> I, I will, Stephen. If I ping your creature, you're going to attack me. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to ping it. Okay. Well, I mean, you shouldn't ask such questions, the rhetorical ones. What ping it. I'm not playing it. I'm gonna play a plane. <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen if you attack me in any and way? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a Rakdos Signet, and then we're gonna have our first fun interaction of the game. Is everyone ready? I'm gonna enchant one of Steven's creatures Ooh. with parasitic Im impetus. Okay. What do I have? Parasitic, on? parasitic impetus gives your creature plus two plus two, and it's goaded. So you have to. It has to attack someone that's not me. All right, Justin. You already started and, it, so here we go. Yeah, no. You, okay. Here's that. There's what? another. There's another part. Yeah. Well, and part. Then whenever enchanted creature attacks, its controller loses two life, and I gain two life. All right. So no, we're gonna put this here on Calamax. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna attack John for two. Sure. With Kelsine. I'll take it. All done. Yep. All right, I'm on tap. Uh oh. Um. So I don't have a land. It's like your cycle for one. I don't have a cycler. Hmm. But I do oh. have uh, Drake, Drake Haven. Nice. Jeez. So when I do get a cycler, I'll be able to make some drakes. Uh, I, I will be done. All right, let's go to my turn. And what do we have here? We're going to cast uh, Wilderness Reclamation. That's a good one. That's pretty good. Put that there. I will play a Simic Growth Chamber, picking up my forest. That's pretty good. And we'll go to Attackers. Uh, we'll take, uh, Jeremy for six. It doesn't Vigilance or anything, right? No. All right. For six. And and there's going to be a trigger. Steven's going to lose two, and I'm going to gain two. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take six, go to 33, and have six commander damage on me. Yep. And then uh, I'm going to end my turn. 
Right. Tap my lands. Unbelievable that you would attack Jeremy like that. Not even remotely unbelievable. First off, someone uh, someone was whispering in my ear, Jeremy. Temple of the False God. I thought you were going to attack John. He just ruthlessly attacked Jeremy. No, someone's been whispering in my ear, Jeremy. I'll tell you who it is for a price. Yeah, who is for it? For a price. <laughs> are, you, are you willing to pay the price? Hmm. How big is that thing? Is, six six? It is. Six, 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 one, six, six. I have six <laughs> cards in my hand as well. Right now it's a six six. Don't try to kill it, Jeremy. It's gonna alternate. I'm not I'm not gonna be his unwitting pawn and kill one of you off. So he'll be not. he'll be my witting pawn. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> he'll be your witting pawn, is what I'm hearing. I, I promise you on my oath that I will attack you uh every other turn. Every yeah. other turn. I will here until I'm, I'm dead. Until he's dead. You and then John. That's all I can do. It's the best I can do. I can't attack myself. So, all right. Blame me. Blame I'm John. going to tap this many. Uh, so I'm going to make the Manascape Refractor tap for the two colorless from Temple. So eight. So it's yeah, it's going to be eight total. And I'm going to play Vastwood Hydra, which oh enters boy. the battlefield with six plus one plus one counters on it. When it dies, I can distribute any number of plus one plus one counters equal to the number of counters on it to any number of creatures I control. That's pretty good. So, Does anything happen when it takes damage? No, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am done after that. All right. Untap. I'm going to play Myriad Landscape as my land for the turn. Hmm. And then I'm going to play Frontier Warmonger, which is a new card. What's Frontier Warmonger says it's a 4-4 four, for four, 4 human warrior. Whenever one or more creatures attack one of your opponents, one or more, one, whenever one or more creatures attack one of your opponents or Planeswalker they control, those creatures gain minutes until end of turn. Note, that does not have to be my creature. Yeah, just whenever something, it's kind of Edric, except instead of draw cards, it's gain menace. Gain, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So uh, with that, I'm going to attack John for two with Kelsey. Dude, you're giving my guy menace? I like it. I'm giving it, Steven, I'm giving him so many things. I mean, plus two, plus two, giving him yeah, menace. Yeah. You did a lot. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm done after that. All right. I'm going to untap and hopefully uh, that was not a land, but it was something. I'm going to Okay, two, I'm going to cycle Hieroglyphic Illumination and make a Drake. All right. Um, and when I cycle a card, I can have the Crystalline become a copy of another target permanent, except it has this ability. I'm going to make it become um, an exotic orchard. Yeah. I think... None of you have white mana accessible, do you? Or do you, Justin? I have one. I have, I have Nomad Outpost. It's okay, a so land, I'm land from okay. Cons of Tarkir. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with the card. Okay. All right, I'm going to draw my card for cycling. Hey, we drew a land. Um, now you have three lands. I do, but it's going to probably go away to my next turn. To your next turn, yeah. Yeah, so I have it for now. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, well, if that's the case, then I am done. Uh, end of your turn. I'm going to cast Curious Herd, and I'm going to target Justin. So you get Curious one. Herd. I'm going to get two, because I get a copy of it. Oh, because it's tapped. Calimax is tapped. I'm going to put a counter on Calimax as well. What does is, what is Curious Herd do? I, uh, I choose target opponent. You create X, 3-3 three, three green beast, where X is the number of artifacts. I believe he has one. I got one. I have one uh, Rakdos segment. So I'll get two. Yeah, oh, because of Calimax. Out. Yeah. And Calimax is sweet. Yeah. Spike. So I'll do the copy first. I don't know if you want to respond to the other no, one. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. Yeah. I was just reading. I have everyone's deck list up over here, so I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm kind of going... I'm trying to play along with everybody at home. Yeah. 
Curious Herd. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. That it actually is very good. Yeah, it is. That's what I mean. You're you making a ton of tokens. Jeez, it's like if you make two, you're it's already two. I think is like baseline, and if you make more than that, you're just. Or right. if you get one of those opponents that has smothering tithe tokens, I'm gonna go, yeah. go to attackers. I'm gonna attack or John. someone. Why, or why someone would you do that? Seven. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Yeah. I lose two. He gains two. Yep. What am I at right now? Thirty six. And I'm attacking you for seven. Jeez. It doesn't have trample or anything. But it has menace. Well, it does have menace. So it just doesn't have trample. Menace, oh well, yeah. thank you. Thank, thanks for that. That makes it easier. Um. Okay. I guess I'm. Um. I, need, uh, I want to do something before damage. So, well, I'm thinking. So, give me blockers. He he's, 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 he might make another blocker. Yeah, I'm trying to cycle. Figure out what I want to cycle. Um, that's not going to do anything anytime soon. It's seven. Seven, so much. That's so many. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. I'll take seven. All right. What? 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 Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say blockers, no blockers. Yeah, no, I get it. Cast chemistry's inside. So I'm gonna put a counter on this, and I'm gonna draw four cards. I've decided that Calmex is bad news. Yeah, that's that's uh. Um, hold on. You you're gonna. Good. All right. Well, do you wanna do the copy first? You're, uh, you're, you're a jerk. No, you're not gonna do the copy first. No, go ahead. Whatever. Just right, draw, draw four, give it plus one, plus one. Yeah. All right, I'll take good. eight commander damage and go to 26, 28, 28. Unbelievable. Eight. I can't believe, I can't believe Steven would do this to you. Yeah. No, I definitely can't believe it. I can't believe he's just being your pawn. It's ridiculous. With my winning one though. Not winning. On uh, I'm going to go big EFP, uh, pitch a forest, untap my lands. Did you, yeah. you, did you pitch a force because you just had too many cards in your hand? Yep, I had eight cards. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> and when and when you uh, jump start, uh, oh, yeah. inside, you also yeah, yeah, draw four. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Jeremy. Yeah, you, you were done, Stephen. Yes, sir. I am done. Right, we'll draw for the turn. Well, at least we know Steve doesn't have anything to play. His deck's not full of instants. Yeah, right. For it. Sure, I'm glad we used that frozen grip, Jeremy. You tell me, I was waiting. Watch waiting by this turn would have been reasonable. Uh, you know, killing that wild reclamation might have did something. It, that comment be... lasted much longer to happen than I would have guessed. I would have put. I would have put the. I would have put the line at two minutes and taken the under. What's that? The, glad, glad we used the frozen grip line. Ah. Yeah. Of course, of course. Um, I am going to pay five, uh, and then I am going to, or four, rather. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yep, four. Uh, I'm going to do the first mutate. I'm going to play Pouncing Shore Shark. Here we are. Put it on top of Vastwood Hydra. I like that. That, that mana war something. Yep. It says, whenever this creature mutates, you may return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Yeah, Jeremy, get it. Put it back in my hand. Does anyone want to respond? You don't have to, Jeremy. You don't have to. Uh, no, I do not want to respond. I would like to not get hit by it again. It yeah. doesn't have flash, does it? No. Okay. Well, you say no, like that's an unreasonable thing for it to have. So yeah. I'm putting it in my hand? You're putting it in your hand. Or exile, your choice. Wait, no. we're, oh, so we're targeting Calmax. Just Target Calmax. Yeah. Interesting. I don't, uh, I don't have any responses. I just yeah, I don't have it. either. Okay, it's in my hand. All right, get All rid right. of that. It, the parasitic impetus goes to my graveyard. Yep. Thank you, Jeremy. Now, what size is your creature, Jeremy? It is currently a 4-3 with 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, so it is a 10 Nine. Oh, great. Pouncing Shark like does have flash, though. I like how thick it is. Pouncing Shark sure, sure, does have flash, yes. Okay. Oh, we we're talking about Calamax. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I that's what that. we were wondering on. That's why I was confused. I was like, I thought the card did have flash. Calamax I'm uncomfortable. It's a shark beast. I don't like its arms. I am yeah. going to also cast Mind Leecher. Mutate. All right, what's that mutate do? Let me let me right. pull that one up. 
It's a 5 5 flyer. When it mutates, exile the top card of each opponent's library face down. You may look at and play those cards for as long as you, they remain exiled. And this is where it gets a little weird playing from home. Hold on now. How'd you have man to do both of those? What? Because they were cheaper. Uh, Pouncing Shore Shark is a three and a blue. Mind Leecher is four and a black. He's and got, he's got one, two, nine three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. It's true. Checks out. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking. That's not a cool card. So that would end up being a, a an eleven eleven flying creature. Uh, no, it would end up being a an eleven eleven flying creature. Yes. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it's eleven eleven flying. Yep, and it also bounces something else if it mutates, if it actually gets there. Oh well, yeah, of course I wouldn't do that. Um. <laughs> A creature? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, I sure. Okay. Whose library will you choose? It's everyone's. Uh, it's everyone's. everybody's library, so this is where it gets a little weird. Uh because you're gonna know what it is too, because I think you have to actually take a picture and then send it to me through like uh, the IM service. Ooh. Exciting. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, IM service? I'm gonna teams it to you. <laughs> that's that's what I was trying to get out without using a, a specific uh, service name. Whatever. Okay, I might have a me. response. You might have a response to that. Yeah. To the to the mutate trigger. What am I gonna do? I have two mutate triggers. Yeah, the one where you get the top card in my library. I'm trying to think if I want it or you get to have it. Whatever, you can have it. So. Okay. I'm going to exile that top card. card. Top card. Well, Jeremy, this is a good card. I don't want you to have this. I'll pick oh, a different one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> You'll never know the difference. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. <laughs> and then uh, I am also going to bounce. Um... <sighs> Man, bounce, that, want... bounce that menace thing. I'll just replay it. That's fine. You can bounce my creatures. It's fine. Yeah. I, was I mean, you don't want to that... bounce my Drake. It doesn't do anything. Well, the tokens are obviously like some of the best ones. You should not bounce our tokens. You should bounce whatever it costs uh, Justin to play mana back into. Make him replay yeah, mana. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure do that. Hmm. All right. Jeremy, I sent you your card. I sent you yours as well. I just leave it up here. It's exiled. It's unfortunate that I get to see it, though. Yeah. Yeah, because I, you know, you know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you could tell us why. <laughs> All right, I'll bounce uh, the menace one. Okay. Yeah. Deal. Go to attacks. Okay. Eleven at Steven. I'm in no way surprised. I take it. All right. Pass the turn. You got a really good one there, Jeremy. See my guys, uh, guys at forty-four yeah. life. Been been forcing me to attack you. Attack me. I see how it is. You attacked me. That's what we're. He forced at. me. He go. I him. I remember that. I remember when he did that. It's okay. Uh, let's see. I am going to. This has vigilance. Jeremy, I'm just going to attack you for two. Yep. I take it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I couldn't attack anyone else. Yeah, Gone would very easily trade his Drake for my Kelsine the Plague. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be real. That's why the Drake is here. And then I'm going to play Frontier Warmonger. That's just the uh, guy over again, right? Huh? Yeah. The same it's the guy. same it's the same guy. The, the same fella. And I'm gonna be done after that. Then you turn, I'm gonna cycle uh rooting Moloch and make a Drake. Mm-hmm. And draw. All right, untap. Yep. This becomes what it is again. Draw five. Uh, 
Um, let's see, not that. You guys remember the good old days when parasitic impetus was on Calamax? I'm glad I don't remember those days. I'm going to play uh, Braylon Shark, Sky Shark Rider. Uh, Braylon has partnered with Sharabraz, the Sky Shark. So when this enters the battlefield, uh, I'll target myself to go find Sharabraz. Yeah. So now I'm looking for a foil shark bird, right? Yeah. yeah you got it. it. All right. People have been asking me about this, if I'm going to make this the new commander for my Birds of War deck, and I think they fail to realize that it is a Birds of War uh, and that they are bird men. Yeah, yeah, that's with the muscles of men. Yes, not muscles of sharks. Not muscles of shark, come on. No, not at all, so it will not be. There's not a third verse to clarify the first, there's just a second one. Yeah, so. John, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast uh, Chemistry's Inside. I'm just doing it right now. Okay, yeah, you do your yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to discard my uh, forest and draw two cards. Uh, I'm not going to draw the four cards at all. I'm just going to hang back. Now, Braylon gives target shark trample for a red, just so you guys don't forget that. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. So. And all also, right. whenever you discard a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and it deals one to each opponent. Yes, now that's, that's more important. important. But the important. shark getting trampled, that's... All right. Uh, are you done, John? I am. My go? Yeah. Ikoria and Commander are full of things I never thought I would read on Magic Card. You know, like Space Godzilla. Yep. Uh, yeah. Target Shark gains Trample. Trying to find the. Uh, I drew a partner card, and I want to know what the partner card is before I go get it. I can tell you. <laughs> it's it's Paco, Arcane Retriever. It's okay. I'm going to do other stuff. I will cast Evolution Charm to get... I didn't play this forest. Nope, sure didn't. Going to no, cast Evolution Charm get a land? Yeah, I'm going to get, get a mountain and put it into play. Now, right. Steven, uh, Braylon does any shark. So if you have a shark, I can give it a trample. No, that's true. Okay, that's cool. It's a cool story. So keep that in mind. I'm going to then cast my general again. Well, I did that wrong. Oops. Could have gave it a 1-1 counter. You could totally could have. You probably still can, you know. No, I, I need the green mana. Yeah, you, you definitely can't do it with end of turn enchantments that on top of your lands. Oh, yeah, I probably still can. Good okay. looking, John. Um, I got you. I'm here for you, Steven. I'm going to go EOT. I'm going to untap. Um, we are going to put a counter on Stormsire. There it is. Uh, I have to discard. I don't. I'm going to discard this Lunar Mystic card. I don't want that. Okay. And uh, I'm done. All right. Draw for the turn. Jeremy's a gigantic monster. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Steven, you said you discarded Lunar Mystic. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have time for that. He's got he's got so many cards. He doesn't need more. He's just discarding them. Yeah, he's he's wily like that. I have seven cards in my hand, John. Or are you? I I was just trying to figure out what that card was. Oh, it's a four man. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. I say it. Yeah. I whenever I play a so, spell, I can pay one to draw a card. So. I'm gonna cast this from uh, Exile of John's. It's a Boro Signet. There you go. Um, I need some kind of now, Jeremy. You, I noticed you did not draw the art on the um sticky note. Yeah. Is, yeah, there no, a re is there a reason for that? Are you just not committed to? I, I, I wasn't committed to uh, Spark Emotion. No. Oh, okay, so say, right. keep in mind, you know, Justin drew that uh, I, that chaos symbol on planes, planeswalker plane symbol. Yeah, plane yeah. symbol. I, I did yeah. on the planner die that we used. I did, it's true. He was he had a lot more time and uh, commitment for that, though. Yeah, what happens to your giant creature if it gets bounced? 
Uh, they all go back to his hand. Yeah, they, all, they all go back to my hand. It splits into three creatures. Wait, they all go back to your hand? Yep. So if you die, if it dies, they all die. Whatever yes. happens, it happens to all of them. Yep. yep. Yeah, okay. the way that mutate works is that it's one creature. If it if there's a kill spell and somebody you know kills it, uh, then it one creature dies, but three cards go to the graveyard. So that counts for things like, you know, if you have a Zool port cut through it or whatever, and then also if you have something where things care about cards going to graveyards. Um so let's see. Hmm. So I have this Boros signet. Yeah, you got that in play. I don't know. I would have liked that. Your bar signet was probably on par with my card. I don't want him to cast my card. Maybe he wants to cast it right now to get it popping in here. Yeah, thinking about it. Uh, I am going to move to attacks. Yeah, you are. Attack Justin. I'm at 33. I'll take 11. All right, and then second main, blue, green, black, three. I'll just cast my commander. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice my landscape. Not mutating it, just casting it, Jeremy? Just just casting it, yeah. I feel like mutating it is probably not great at this point because, as Steven said, if it gets bounced or it dies, that's the other thing is if it is my commander and it dies... All of those cards go to the command zone, but I can't cast any of them except Otrimi. Yeah, but uh, if it was your commander, it would have been a 12-12 uh, flying trample. Flying trample. Yep. Yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah, and he would have yep. bounced something again. I'm real glad it went that way. I am done. What are What is everyone's life totals, Director Kyle? Looking at so, 25 for me, 28 for John, 33 for you, Justin. I can't see Jeremy's. 31 for Jeremy. 31 for Jeremy. Okay, so everyone around the same. Yeah. Well, not everyone's around the same. I'm at, you know, the lowest outside of Steven. <laughs> the lowest outside of Steven. <laughs> so, let's yeah. just be clear about what's going on here. What was this card? I forgot. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Who do I attack first now? I don't know. Who are you going to attack first? Nobody. I'm not going to attack anybody. I'm going to be peaceful. That just seems like... A lie? Seems, seems like, like a, a lie. lie from Stephen Green. Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, I'm going to be peaceful. So whatever. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm, indeed. I like attacking though, but if I attack, then I get get I get attacked back. That's the problem. Now, you could I'll remind you again if you have a shark. Oh, that's true. Oh, oh, no, I, I have, have a shark. Terrible. Unfortunately, I got all humans. Okay, mm. I'm I'm flush, mm. positively flush with humans. I had a shark and then I turned it into a nightmare. Um, I am mean? going to. So you just you, so. There's a uh, Jeremy has a Boros signet. Is that I do. Is that right? So he has access to red white, I think, unless he tapped it. I don't know. No, it's sitting out here. So he still has access to red white or a green. Yep. But not all not all together. That is correct. Okay. I have a lot of mana open. Six. And I've got a painless city of brass. Yes, he does. <laughs> I okay. would go to City of Brass. I'm right. gonna attack. Who's at the highest? That's not me, Jeremy. Yeah, I'm gonna attack Jeremy for six. Okay, they both have menace, right? They both are very menacing. Yeah, can't. Block. So if that menace creature, okay, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be peaceful. I'm gonna yeah. tell you that yeah. I. Can but I'm gonna be peaceful. No, that's not what I said. 
Anything yeah, else six, over there? Six. Yeah. yeah. I see you thinking. I am thinking. I'm going to play this Titan of Eternal Fire. And it a just five, six for six. As each human you control has uh, tap a red and tap it, deal one damage to any target. What size is that? The yeah. five, six. Five, six is thick. It is. You could say that. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm done after that. No. I am going to play a cycling land tapped. Yeah. That's what we want to see. Yeah. This is what you want to see. Um, nope. Need go, go on with yourselves. <laughs> go on with myself? Go on with yourself, he said. All right, end of turn. We're going to cast Starstorm for four and get a counter on Calamax on Spike. So it's going to actually Starstorm for eight? No, oh, no, no it's, it's, not not tapped. Tapped. it's not tapped. It's not tapped. So it's just going to do it for four. Now, see, that's going to kill all my creatures. Yeah, then it doesn't hurt my buddy Jeremy at all. Hmm. Why don't you do it for five? I can't do it for five. But why didn't you? Yeah, Try. why didn't you? If oh, you wouldn't have given that counter to the oh, oh okay. Well, yeah, I did it for four because it's what I can do it for. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeet. Does five take out anything extra? His I commander. Could ping, I could ping something. Oh, sure. You could take his commander. His commander's five toughness, right? No, so six, six. <sighs> Everything's six. There's nothing that's five. Yeah, I'm, I can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ping your shark boy. My this guy. Yep. Now, why would you do that? Because I might have been able to make it live. Now I definitely can't. Well, you've. It sounds like you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All, All right. right. When when that dies, I'm gonna get one experience counter. All right, so my beast in, are gonna be in, dead. In the event Kelsine comes back. You can go to my turn. Yep. Your beasts are definitely dead. Draw. Oh. Uh oh. Did we lose Steven? He Hello? froze up a little. Can you hear me though? No, you can hear him. Yeah, I can hear you. Your video froze up. Oh, Until you unfreeze, you can't take any game actions. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> um Glad I cast this five six. We're gonna we're gonna go to uh, attackers. Yep. I'm gonna attack John for six. You just killed all my creatures. You could. It has menace. Does it? No. It doesn't no. Have not menace. anymore. You you yeah. you made it. Sure. No, it's fine. Go ahead. I I don't have anything to do. Um, you have anything to do? Just uh, let's. I'm ready to go to blockers. <laughs> I'm I'm not. So give me a second. He sounds so ready. <sighs> Steven, why are you trying to kill me? I'm not trying to kill you, I promise. You are? How much commander damage do I have already? Eight. And you're attacking me for six? Yes. Probably that... seven. Probably seven. Probably seven? Yeah. That sounds like uh, you're trying to kill me with commander damage. No, I'm going to hit you for seven. It's okay. I'm going to do some craziness. All right, yeah. I'm going to go for it. All right. Uh, before blockers, or after blockers, uh, I'm going to cast Hunter's Insight targeting Calamax. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to deck myself. Uh, Hold on. What does Hunter's Insight say? Choose target creature you control. Whenever that creature does combat damage to a player or a planeswalker this turn, draw that many cards. I think I only get to draw one instance of it, or I get to draw two instances of it. You, well, you copy the I card, have a right? Copy, yeah, so I have a copy. And yeah, so there's card. two instances of that card. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to target it twice. I guess I'd only get seven. I don't know. <laughs> but you've, you've copied the card. <laughs> no, I get 14. No, you, you get, you, yeah, you get 14. Yeah, well, I wouldn't you get 14. It. Yeah, you get 14. Two star <sighs> creature. Because Hunter's insides are just set drawing you the cards. Yeah, so so they both, both of them say that. So uh, am I drawing my cards now? Yeah, all right. Ooh, 14. Jeez. That's a lot. This is why he discarded Lunar Mystic, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it is, because I, I didn't remotely need. Steven froze up a little again. Of course I did. I'm drawing a bunch of cards. Loading animation. 
everyone's bandwidth is determined by how many cards they have in their hand. Well, I only have three, which so mine's been fine the whole time. I have two, so mine's uh, right. have been fine. We're going to have to play a card. We're going to put a land into play. Jeez. I have too many cards in my hand now. Oh, shucks. Oh, darn. Um, do I want it to come into play tapped? I don't want it to come into play tapped. Play Desolate Lighthouse. Um, we're going to cast a tower on. Yeah. Sky Summer. Um, we're gonna do it like that. Um, make sure nothing I really want. Okay, uh, do we have mana to cast any single spell in my hand? Yeah, I do not, I do not. So, we're gonna go to the instep. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold you go on to your instep. instep. Yep. Uh, Wilderness Reclamation Trigger. Yeah, I don't know if you have any counter spells or anything, but I'm going to cycle Nibble Instructionist and counter the trigger of your Wilderness Reclamation. Ooh. Okay. That's good. Now, gonna... that, now, that, now that John's done that, I'm going to activate Spine Rock Knoll. Sure. Wait. I'm going to Deflecting Swat. See, I can't... You I can't. Don't have it's, a... it's an I... ability. Yeah, well, that's what this card says. You may choose new targets for target spell or ability. All right, There's well, no where's other. the other target? There's no other well, ability. Well, not there. one, but he responded and used no, that. I did not. I don't, no. I'm not responding. I, I waited until he was done. I mean, I could target anything, right? No, no you need to target another ability. So Justin was waiting until the nibble obstructionist trigger resolved. Can I, can yeah. I deflecting right. SWAT and target Tara? You're not getting a trigger from Tara, are you? Yeah, it's an instant. I'll get a no, But you have to cast it. In order to get the trigger. There has so to you be have target. to have a target before you cast it. Technically, you have a target. You can target um, Drakehaven. That's true. That you can target Drakehaven, or you can target Crystalline Renaissance. Yeah, you could target either of his. Okay, well, that's what we're going to do. Uh, okay. Which one? Drake Haven. Yeah. So, um, and the this will just become a uh, an exotic orchard until another turn, or until my next turn. All right. So no. I'm going to still draw a card. Yep. From the cycle. I don't get to pay one to make a Drake, but that's okay. I get a Drake though. That's true. Mm -hmm. He got your Drake. He stole your Drake. What is deflecting? Deflecting SWAT. SWAT. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying yeah. any costs. You may choose new targets for target spell or ability. Uh, well, you don't get a. What do you get a Drake from? Oh, from Talron. Okay, Talron. 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 Yep. Gotcha. Sorry. All right. All right. So now you're spine rock rolling. Yeah. Uh, before, because I wanted to do it before Steven got to untap. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna spine rock roll, and I'm gonna play uh, Outpost Siege. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna you know, untap. When it enters the battlefield, choose cons or dragons. Yeah, you, you can you can just untap now. You were done after that, or did you have anything else with your untapped mana? Steven. Uh I need to discard, so give me a second. Okay. And and while Steven's discarding, I'm gonna decide to choose cons or dragons. I think I need to choose cons because I'm a little cons little light on a little light on the cards here. That's the loot, right? That's no that uh ex exile the top card at the beginning of your upkeep and you can gotcha. play it this turn. Oh, neat. Chandra's whatever. Zero. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Uh, now I'm done. You're up, Jeremy. All right. Draw for a turn. Well, that seems fun. All of these cards seem fun. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go to combat first or do anything else. Uh, all right, move to combat. Um, 
going to go 11 in the air at Justin since he's at 33 and all the rest of us are in the 20s. Uh, and correct. then go six trambampling at Steven, I guess. What's it? Six what? It's a six six trample. I believe he said trambampling. Trambampling is what I said. I tell you what, I don't don't like that. Well, you just discarded 40 cards out of your hands. You sure probably do something. I really don't like that, Jeremy. I mean, that's. uh... Well, whose fault is that, Stephen? Yeah. I think it's Stephen's. Yeah, I agree. If you would have just not let my. uh... Yeah, if you would another Drake, maybe he would attack me. Yeah. Yeah, bounce all of his creatures, Steven. <laughs> What's in your graveyard, Jeremy? Do you have anything to get? Frozen grip. So no. No. I take six. Okay. Steven I'll takes take six. 11. Justin takes eleven. Yep. I'm at twenty two, Steven's at nineteen. Yes. Jeremy sits upon the throne all by himself. It's true. Heavy as the head. If you don't make me block with my Drake, I might attack him for two. I've got a fun card. So four. Oh, boy. I love when people say that. Yeah. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. And is, is it villainous wealth? Just dump it all in there. Uh, I'm going to play Capricopian. Ah, the goat. Hydra. The goat. So it comes in with, so it's going 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it comes in with 10 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. It's a 10, 10, but it's the one that has the ability of uh, anybody, or the person who it is attacking uh, can pay 2 to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it and may reselect which player it's attacking. Uh, and only the person it's attacking can play that, and it can't attack me. So, like that. Pass Forget. after that. Pass after that. End of your turn. I have an effect. Yep. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm going to cast Harrow. Copy. Yeah, oh, that's so good. That is yeah. really good. So I'm going to sacrifice this island and this forest, and I'm going to get four basics. You seven. don't have to do you both. You don't have to sack both. You don't have to do both. You only have to sack one. I'll sacrifice this island, and I'm going <laughs> to yeah. get four basics. So, okay. you're just copying yeah, the probably- second one. Yeah. yeah, I just, in my head, you know. As an additional cost to cast, yeah. Man, Harrow's super gross. Yeah, it is. With and that then card. get four get lands. Tokens and some lands. I'll get one additional Drake token. I have my lands in play, and it's Justin's turn. All right. Mm. All right. Uh, beginning of upkeep, I'm going to exile a card with cons. It's a planes, which I'll probably play. I'll draw my card for turn. I'm going to play this planes. Hmm. Yeah. Just in, case, just in case this plan goes awry. I'm going to tap for five and I'm going to play Cleansing Nova and do to destroy all creatures. Uh, what's the card Cleansing Nova? Yeah. Yep. Choose, destroy all creatures, all artifacts, or all enchantments, something like that. Okay. It's either all creatures or all artifacts and enchantments. Artifacts and enchantments, yeah. So you choose all creatures. Yeah. Um, you get a deflecting palm that one, Stephen? <laughs> I'm going to respond. I'm in a prophetic bolt. Nice. All right. I wish you didn't have that art, but still nice. Yeah. So prophetic bolt, I'll get two of them. You um, will. It's double impulse. I can't see life totals. Well, you know. Uh, the first one, we'll shoot at Jeremy for four. Okay, I'm at 21. And then let me look at the top four. And Where's the second one You got a target. You got a target. You got a target. Uh, Justin. Justin. Okay. Goes to 18. Yeah, I'm going to go to 18. You can go ahead and mark that down. So Where's Jeremy at? Four. I am at uh, 21. Yeah, look at the top four twice.
Yeah, just look at them. Don't take any, but just look at them. Yeah, just look. one each time, and then uh, rest on the hand or the bottom, right? Rest in the hand. Rest in the hand. I choose <laughs> one. The rest go to my hand. <laughs> All right. Based on that, it happens. Huzzah! All right. So destroy all creatures. Yep. I have. Bye, Drake. Shreemy goes, and then I have all these creatures going to the graveyard. Okay. Then second main, I'm gonna play Fumiko the Low Blood, which is not a card I would choose to put in this deck myself, but it is here nonetheless. Are you sure you wouldn't? I'm sure. I am done after that. Mm. Now, John, I, I didn't want to tell you you were not going to get a chance to tackle your Drake, but I also felt like you'd be totally fine with what just happened. I am a okay with everything that just happened. <laughs> Until this is back to being what it does. This card is very sweet. I'm a very big fan of it. Yeah. Ooh. All right. And just to remind everyone, Fumiko says creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able. Jeremy, for what it's worth, I would have stopped him from killing your big duder if I could have. Yeah. Yeah, I had a really cool play with your creatures. It was going to be really sweet, but it didn't happen. I'm going to pay six and play new pros or perspectives. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, draw three. Enters the battlefield, I draw three, and then as long as I have seven or more cards in hand, I could pay zero rather than pay second. Uh, with the... Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. So I'm going to do a cheat code of doing this from home. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom, but I don't have any plays. So <laughs> that's pretty lucky. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play Shivan Reef for the turn. Um, and now I have seven cards. So I can cycle by paying zero instead of their costs. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. All right, well, I am just going to pass the turn. Okay. Interesting. You have one mana available? I have Shivan Reef. I'm going to cast my general again for six. There it is. Okay. It is Calamax the Storm Sire. I'm also... Going to put an Atali, the Primal Storm, into play. Ooh. That does not have the haste, right? It does not. Okay. And then I'll be done. And I'll uh, untap. Do you have anything after you untap before my turn? Um, I'm going to tap Orin Reef to put a counter on Calamax. Yeah. And then you're done. All right. Then I'm done. Yeah. Oh, you, you guys have been playing Atali? Yeah, yeah. Played it, Holly. it was it was super fun. That didn't seem fun. It was super fun. Says if only everybody. you'd been here to stop it. God, I can only blame myself, I guess. I might have messed up. No. Oh. Really, that seemed pretty good. <laughs> I yeah, hate, I, I, I hate to know what the better play was. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> interesting to know. What you got over there? I'm thinking. I've got a couple options here, and it's really... Uh... Is any of it going to target me because I also need to use the bathroom? But <laughs> you, Steven, you, you're playing World of Strike You don't get to do that. Yeah. yeah. I think about doing it anyway and just letting things resolve. But Why are you tapping so I like much that. mana, Jeremy? Tapping a bunch of mana. Because we're going to play another fun game. Oh, boy. Called Bill and his Wealth. Jeremy. Yeah. Huh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Well, you know what? Go ahead, because you're not going to target me. I'm you, I'm literally playing Mardu humans. There's a zero percent chance. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I got all I'm the target cards. I'm going to target Steven. Yeah. Okay. Great. It's funny that you said that because I'm going to flash in a dual caster mage. Yeah, you are. Oh my gosh. Well, that's still not going to target me. So. Yeah, I hate everything about this. Um. So dual caster mage just copies it, right? Yeah, but he could also then counter it. Yep. He, he could counter Jeremy's. He could copy Jeremy's. That let that resolve and then counter Jeremy's. So I'm gonna dual caster man, uh, mage. Um, you know this happened the last time I cast Fallen as well. Yeah. Well, maybe have you learned anything? No. Nope. So yeah, I'll be copying that. Okay. What is it for seven? Eight. It's for eight. Okay. Yeah. I'll target Jeremy. Seven. I'll target Jeremy because mine goes first, will. right? Yeah, yours goes first. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least they're not hidden. That's nope. true. Illusory Ambusher, three, four, five, six lands. <laughs> Jeez. And Ukami Stalking Shadow. All right. Oh, what does Villainous Wealth do? No, <laughs> you can play them without paying their mana costs. I have Ukam, o, Uk, Ukima Stalking Shadow. Sorry. It's a 2 2 blue black whale wolf. It partners with uh, Kazur and yeah. it can't be blocked. When it leaves the battlefield, it deals X damage to target player, and you gain X life where X is its power. And Illusory Ambusher is a 4-1 flash. Whenever it's it, uh, whenever Illusory Ambusher is dealt damage, draw that many cards. So it's a 4-1. All I'll right, well, I'll life. just cast all the, those two creatures. And then, you get to cast um, these two creatures. Yeah, that was probably the worst uh, Villainous Wealth in a long time. In a while, yeah. yeah. Probably and ever. then I'm going to... Here's your 8, right? Yep, eight. Your eight will be. Uh, we got one. You got four lands, but you got a shiny impetus, a Rashmi Eternity's Crafter, a Malik Is It Paragon, and a Zixtrus the Ribbon Storm. All right, so I need to get those copied down, and then so there's three creatures, and then the impetus. The impetus, which was which one is that one? Um, plus two, plus two, and goaded, and whenever enchanted creatures attack, you get a treasure token. Okay, oh. so shiny cool. impetus, and then what else did he get? He got a Zixrith, the so, Ritherin Storm, the second oh, face card. Wait, okay, the uh, okay, so the one that uh, yeah, I got you, I got you. Whenever, whenever you fall. yeah, then you make that many. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, he got a Rashmi Eternity's Crafter. Yep. Rash, so, Rashmi Eternity's Crafter, yeah. and then he got a Melek. Is it Paragon? Melek, I thought he was still suspended. Oh, no. no that's Malik. It. Sorry, get those two confused. They're all suspended right now, Justin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, all right, so it's... I, I will uh, write this out then. So Villainous Wealth resolves. I have uh, three creatures that are going to get that written down, and then I have a shiny impetus uh, yeah. that is going to target um, the uh, Itali. Okay, I'll put it on there. All right. And then I am done after that, because none of these have haste, right? It was Zyrus, Rushmi, and uh, Melek. I'm going to the bathroom. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh... I am done after that. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, exile top card for Alpo Siege. It is a Orzhov Signet. So I'll draw. God. So Steven said anything that happens while he's gone just resolves, right? Well, obviously. Why would he leave? That's true. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is play Orzhov Signet. I'm going to play Boros Garrison. I'm going to bounce Spine Rock Knoll. Well, that's good. Nice. Yep. Uh, then I'm going to tap a red and tap Orzov Signet. And then I'm going to play uh, Dire Tactics and I'm going to exile Itali. Mm. Does that resolve everyone? Everyone in the game, does that resolve? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? What are you trying to do, Justin? Uh, wh what do you mean? I thought you were gone. Dire Tactics is targeting Itali. What does that do? Exile target creature. And then if I don't control a human, I lose life equal to its toughness. 
You control a human? Yeah. Well, let me see your human. Let me look at him. It's a 3 2. Three Don't two. mess with my human. Three two. Okay. So let me look at this. They didn't put lightning bolt in that deck. The three two, so I have to do two. You just don't do any. It still exiles it, Steven. He just takes three if you do. You mean six? No, I'm yeah, not, I, mean, six. I mean eight. Eight? However much however how 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 big does shiny impetus give it? What does that give it? You know what? It's exiled, right? It's a plus two yeah, plus exiled, two. Right? Yeah. It's happened. It's happened. Okay. Excellent. You're welcome. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of close to dying. So I'm just going to play my commander, which is uh, Janira Kudro. And whenever it enters the battlefield, I make a soldier or hu a human, a human soldier for each time I cast a, a commander this game, which is once. So cool. I'm going to, uh, with seven cards, cycle eternal dragon for free. Make a Drake and go get points. I'm gonna respond. Adorable. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna slice and twang your new perspectives. That's fine. So I'm gonna go get my plants. Make a Drake. I've drawn my card for the turn. Or for the uh, slice for slice and twang. Yeah. For, you drew a card for slice and twang. So then I make a one one snake from Zyrus. Uh. Whenever opponent draws, except for the first card they draw, you make two because John's drawn a card too. Oh no, he no, didn't. I draw did not a draw a card. I did not. Draw card. Yeah. Wait, you cycle? I plain yeah, cycle. Plain cycle. Did yeah, not he draw. Didn't draw it. it goes into his hand directly. Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay, Justin, you're done. I'm done. All right. I like that card. I like that card. There's that planes that everyone knew about. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'll play my commander, Gabby Nest Warden. Uh, so I could pay zero. It's the top card of your library. Uh, forest. Forest. Okay. Yep. Can play zero for the first card I cycle each turn. And whenever mm -hmm. I draw my second card for each turn, I make a dinosaur. So I'm going to cycle my first card for the turn, which is a Desert of the Mindful. For free. Yep. For free. I will make the Drake Haven make a Drake with that planes and my crystal. Lean will become let's make it become a Drake Haven until my next turn. That's pretty good. And I make yeah. a dinosaur and I draw a card for Desert of the Mindful. Is that all? <laughs> That's it. Now you oh. make a little snake, Jeremy. Yeah. Now I make two snakes total. So to go look in my box of tokens. One from Steven, one from John. Yep. I have two Jeremy's to represent them for now. Okay. Unless I find some actual snakes. Um is there anybody that should be attacked? Let me see here. Well, someone's got to. Who's got to? Well, I mean, uh, your creatures my opponent's control have to attack each combat of Fable. So you have oh, to attack right. with your one Drake. Do I? Can I attack you? Yeah, but don't. But <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. but, but we're on team. Don't die together, no, John. No, we're not. You know, Justin. I feel like we are on team. Don't die. But here's the problem. Okay, uh, if I don't attack you, I feel like I'm going to be retaliated by the two. To people who are trying to kill us. I'll take two. I'll go to 16. All right. Excellent. <laughs> I'm glad that you understood. Sorry. We got it. We got it, Jeremy. Don't worry. See, this is two headed giant, Justin. We're just attacking each other for uh, yeah, minimal, yeah. minimal, minimal, minimal damage. damage. Is minimal it my damage. turn? Uh, it is not my turn anymore. I am done. Okay. We're going to get a my turn. There's my card for the turn. We'll play this land. We got attackers. 
Um, Calamax will attack uh, John. Um, I see you're attacking me again. The uh, un unblockable guy. Okay, you attack Jeremy. Yep. I don't know what my other guy is. What's this other guy? It's a four uh, that one, one is the flying. yeah four one flash. Whenever it is dealt damage, draw that many cards. Uh, this these two will attack Justin. The four one flash and the two two. So uh, you get the general coming at John. Um, two two coming at me. So I have yeah. to take that. Yep. And yeah, that was that was it for that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna block. Uh, yeah, as long as your your general doesn't have trample, right? No. No. All right. The dinosaur cat will will get in its way. Yeah, how big is the dinosaur cat? It is uh, a two two. I know it's weird because it's a dinosaur, but Okay. Well it's just gonna die to Calmax. Basically. Yes, correct. All right. Oh wait, uh, wait. Number of attacking creatures. Okay. I'll block with I'll block with uh oh wait, you're gonna draw whatever. I'll block with Famico. On uh four one? Yeah. It's gonna get how many creatures are attacking? Four? Four. Okay, it's going to get plus four, plus four. Okay. So Fumiko okay. won't die, but you're going to draw seven cards. Yeah, and you're going to take two from the Lucaster Mage? No, I'll block that too with my uh, my okay. general. So I'm going to get right. seven plant or seven snakes. So yep. your creatures die, but you draw seven cards, Steven. So I have eight total snakes. Now that didn't seem worth it. I agree. Totally Snake. not worth it. <laughs> okay, Jeremy. You gonna We're going to start the now? turn by playing Twinning Staff. Oh, no. Now, let me read that one again. It says, if you would copy one or more spells, uh, copy it again. Now, see, that's kind of silly. Yeah. All right. And he can copy it again again. I yep. see that. Yeah, see seven, it. copy it again. All again. right. So, um, I want to cast Eon Frolicker. We don't know what that five. does, but for those that don't... Yeah, okay. When it comes to the battlefield, if I cast it, target opponent takes an extra turn after this one. Until your next turn, you and the Planeswalker you control get protection from that player. Steven, I choose me. Um, just Is it resolved? I mean, yeah, I don't think any of us have counted. I choose Jeremy. <sighs> well, I don't care for that. I I'm king making. Didn't like that at all. Yep, yep. Well, Jeremy, of course you like it. I'm I'm very excited here. All right. So Jeremy gets two turns in a row. He does. That sounds fine. It's all good. I'm going to cast... Uh... Nibbles of Frost. So a flying a prowess three three, and it says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, tap target, tap target creature on opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. What was the name of the card? Nibbles of Frost. Yeah, I got you. Yep. And the last thing I'm going to cast is an arcane signet. Oh, look at you. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm gonna the go. last thing you're gonna cast during your main phase. During yeah. your during yeah. your main phase. I'm gonna go to the end step. Hmm. Well, the four one's dead, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the four one's mm -hmm. dead. All right. Yeah. Someone let off seven cards. Do you have anything else? Uh yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm going to. Um, we're gonna cast channeled force. Whoa, oh, jeez. It says it's an additional cost to cast this spell. Um, so I'm going to announce this. Um, I get one copy, two copies. So there's three of them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. How many cards are you going to discard? Uh, the first time. We no, don't have to discard the rest of the time. You yeah, discard them all the same, and they just, it just copies it. It's additional costs, yeah. Yeah, so the other copies won't even get him any cards. I won't get any cards. Yes, you will. It'll copy it as you cast it. Yeah, you're copying oh. X. What is the X that you're copying? Got you. Um, we're gonna do five. Okay, so okay. you're gonna you're gonna deal five three times and then draw fifteen. Yeah. Yes. Where Where's the first five going? Um, 
We'll kill your general. Who, you're who you're targeting, targeting with the with the card draw because me. Okay, you are drawing card. fifteen. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm drawing fifteen. Yes. Uh, first five damage at John's general. Now, why would you do such a thing? Uh, second five damage at Justin's general, and the third five damage at uh, Zix Zix Zixris, the Rhythm Storm. So uh, I'm going to draw 15 cards. You're going to get 15 one once or whatever. Hold on. I well, might... you can you could you could just get that one first if that one's going to resolve first. I so he only get, I don't want to get it first. See, I have protection, and he has two turns. So I don't even have tokens to kill both. He things. doesn't have. No, he does have two turns. So fifteen tokens, great. Yep, twenty-three total right now. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, he could counter one of them, so I'm not going to draw any cards yet. Yeah, I'm going to counter the one that's targeting my commander. Okay, so I only draw ten. Okay. Yeah, only. Yeah, put five of those tokens back, Jeremy. Yep, I will. Okay, also, um, your Melek is tapped and doesn't untap. The Melek is tapped and doesn't untap. Yeah, so I get it all. All right, and then I'll have to discard again, so you guys give me a second. And What are you discarding for? So he's got ten cards he's drawing. Yeah, I'm at the end step, so I have to... Oh, discard. you're not going to cast any more spells. Uh... Negative. I'm not going to cast any more spells. So oh, okay. All right. Sure. All right. So then it goes to me. Yes. Okay. And now you have two turns, Jeremy. I have two turns. Awesome. So turn one. Draw my land. Show a migration path on the top. Yep. Search your library for up to two basic lands. Put them on the battlefield. Tap. Shuffle your library. It's also got cycling two. Yeah. Explosive, explosive vegetation with cycling. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's real good. Uh, I'm going to play my land for the turn. Um, I am going to uh, I am going to cast this off the top. I can't see what it is. Uh, it's the migration path that's explosive vegetation with cycling. Yep. You get two of them. All right. So I get two of them. And when I cast my first spell each turn, reveal the top card. Since this is being cast off the top, I'm going to reveal first. It's a mortuary mire. So that goes into my hand from Rush Me. Yep. Um, so this one happens. I go get four basic lands, put them on a battlefield tapped. One. Oops, shoot, that one's on the floor. Hi, it's fire. It's gone. Yep, it's on fire. Yeah. The floor is lava. That's how it works right now. Three and four. Where did you go, little card? So there's four coming to play tapped. How big is the um, the one that makes everything have to attack? It's a 3-2 currently. 3-2 currently. That's the one that gets bigger for each attacking creature or something? Uh, it, has, it has Bushido of X. And everyone knows what Bushido does. But in case you didn't know, <laughs> uh, yeah, you uh, it, it gets plus X plus X. And it says X is the number of attacking creatures. All right. So we have no Zigthris. Your Melek is tapped. Your yeah. Rush is there. So we can put this in my exile pile. Yeah, I've got Zigthris. How many four. of those little birdies you got? You got enough to kill them? The snakes? Yeah. I have 18 snakes. Oh, I think you got enough to kill them. All right. Reveal the top. It is. Uh, Archipelagigor. Yep. How you, how you pronounce that again? Um, and I will cast uh, 
Um, this spell, I think from yeah, from uh, exile. So I'm gonna make uh, white red. Uh, I'm gonna use this to add white, and then I've got. Uh, one, two more. Uh, I'm going to cast from exile before Justin potentially dies. Um, yep. Hall of the Copper Coats, two white, and it's got Strive for one and a white. So uh, it's choose any number of target opponents, create X, one, one white human soldiers where X is the number of creatures that the, that opponent controls. So I'm going to choose uh, both Steven and uh, John, since you both have three, right? Or no, Steven, yeah. has, Steven have, has three. Uh, three creatures, yeah. Three creatures, and then John yeah. has three creatures. What, what so, are we doing now? I'm going to get uh, X11 one, one white human soldiers, where X is the number of creatures you control. All right, yeah, I got three. So I'm going to get six total from... You're going to get 12. No, that's from your library, my bad. You had to cast it off your library. Yeah, I would have had to have cast it off my yes. library. So that one is gone. And then I will probably I wish I had that one. Yeah, that would have been a real sweet in your in for it you right be. now specifically. It sure would. Or at any point in the game, it would have been the best card I would have drawn the whole game. But you stole it. I did steal it. And I'm the worst, and I'm not sorry. It's all right. You're going to put them out of their misery soon. Yeah. Uh, can't now, Jeremy, it sounds like Steven's kind of directing you what to do. Yeah, so maybe... I mean, he can attack me. I just have protection. Yeah, he has protection. From his turn. turn. Until my turn. Until oh. his turn. Yeah, oh, my yeah. next two turns, I'm definitely... Now, now Jeremy, Steven doesn't have emotional protection from you. That's <laughs> true. You could just so, wait. Jeremy, I'm just gonna... I gift wrap you killing them, so just kill them. So and he's no. he's saying that so he can kill you. You yeah. realize? I don't that, even. Right? I, listen, honest to God, I can't even kill you yet. So... Honest to God, I haven't. Draw, I didn't draw forty cards every turn for the last se seven turns. I just need Stephen uh, Green, twenty twenty. Yeah. I have to attack with everything, so I am going to attack with everything, uh, and. The Zyrus and the 18 tokens well, are coming at... dead. Huh? Zyrus is dead. How is it dead? From the card I cast last turn. Yeah, I killed it. I killed it with uh, one five of the damage. copies of Channel Force. Yeah. Zyrus oh, I didn't hear you say that with Channel yeah. Force. And you said X equaled five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought you were yeah. just targeting the. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Zyrus is dead. Um, so, would I have gotten the extra ones? Yeah, yeah. He he has, still, no one's drawn any cards. I haven't drawn any cards. Yeah. What I would have gotten? What so I have gotten? The ten yeah, you total. Get, you get them. No, you get yeah, all. I, you get, I got you get all. Ten. Them. Yeah, you get the ten. It, all right. Well, I guess resolved where I gave you the maximum tokens. Yeah, I guess I'm coming after Justin with the eighteen tokens, and then John Wait. will rush me. So for my spell, I'll for block the your. Card. I'll block your your two, uh, your two written down creatures. You have two artifacts, right, Justin? I'm gonna cast artifact mutation. So yeah, I'm gonna get both, both of my artifacts. Both of those, sure. I get I get another copy. Uh, we'll get your Boros charm that uh, Jeremy has. So it's I'll my have Boros, Boros charm. Boros signet. Yeah. yeah, yes, I'll it's have Boros six saplings. Well, thank goodness that was useful to you before you died. You're gonna what creatures? What creatures do you have there? I am attacking you with 18 snake tokens, and I'm attacking John with Rushmi Eternity's Crafter, and then Melek is tapped down due to uh, one of the effects that Steven how, had. How big is Rushmi? It's a 2-3. You could probably block it pretty easily. I'm going to kill two of, your, two of your snakes, Jeremy. Yep. And then I think it's your... Uh, your, your big exactly cat. 16. Did you say you were blowing up the Boros Signet, Steven? Yes. I hit three signets, so I have six saplings now. I'm going to uh, double block your your rush me with my double two two and two five. Your two two and your two five. Yeah. All right, so I killed the two two. Yep. 
Yep. All right. All right. And then I go to my next turn. Okay. I'm dead. Just to confirm. Yes. You go to your next turn. All right. So untap everything. Draw. Reveal cold eye selkie. That's a good one. Um. What? How much damage did John take last turn? None. Zero. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh. Now, Jeremy, you don't have to attack me. You could just simply choose not to. I could choose not to. There's nothing making you attack anymore like there was before. That was Justin's card that was making everybody attack, right? Yeah, it was his card. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> if you had played that Dizone Demise, it's like they don't even get us, man. <laughs> uh, that card says that I ha you, you have protection from me? Yes. Yes. What does it say? So your next turn, you and Planeswalkers, you control, gain protection from that player. Yep. So all damage dealt to him by sources you control. He can't even target my. He can't target me. He can't do anything. But again, he's not protected from him emotionally. Well, no, he can target your stuff, right? No, I have yeah. protection. No, it says you and planeswalkers you, you control can't be targeted, that. dealt damage, or enchanted by anything. Yeah, he can target your part. creatures and target them all. That, doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. If I had sure. Troy Red, he couldn't lightning bolt me. He can't lightning bolt you, but he can lightning bolt your creatures. It doesn't say your creatures have it. Yeah. It's just you and your planeswalkers. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I, yeah, you can't kill me. You could kill my creatures. Don't do that. <laughs> you can wipe this whole board, Jeremy. Could do that. Oh, Jeremy. If you don't kill John and then oh, kill Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> oh, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. What are Get you doing here? Bag. Get him a body bag indeed. You can get me a body bag afterward, but you know, for now, I'd like to see you get him the body bag. Melek's on tap now. I I can't get him the body bag currently. You can't attack me. Melek is on tap. Yes, Melek's on tap. You can't virtually get him a body bag. He kills whole board. Uh, I'm gonna cast. I'm like gonna morph. You're not gonna morph anything. There's no morphs here. Or not morph. Mutate. Uh, hold on a second. He's okay. doing some. I can't. What what is this thing? Okay, it so it's the Archipelagigor, Archipelagio Gore, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. It must be um, from the set because it's not in. Uh, it is from the set. Whenever this creature mutates, tap up to X target creatures, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next so untap step. It has to resolve, though, right? Correct. It's okay. a seven seven. It's going to target Melek. It's going to target Melek. Well, this is what yeah. I'm going to do. So it will tap one creature? It would tap one creature currently. Okay, let's make it sure. I'm going to cast Whiplash Trap. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get two copies of it, so I'll have three to the counter. Um, it says return two target creatures to their owner's hands. I'm going to choose Melek on the first one. Yep. Um, I can't see the board to choose another creature. I have yeah. 16 snakes and six 1-1 uh, hu one, one human tokens. Okay. Uh, I'll do Melek, and I'll do John's General. First copy. Okay. Uh, second copy, cool. I'll do John's General. Does he have a, another blocker in play? I have He's a target, target it again. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'll do John's General again and his other creature in play. And then with the third copy, I will get one of your humans and I'll bounce my Ian Frolicker. That's a combo. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, let me see something for a second. Well, the last one is human and Ian Frolicker, which I assume just happens. I mean, they... <laughs> how big is the uh, Nibbles of Frost, Stephen? It's a 3-3. Three, three. Actually, I have a target for that, too. Uh, as prow Oh, it's bigger now. 4-4 four, four has a prowess trigger. And I'll tap one of your humans down, uh, Jeremy. 
Okay. One of my humans is tapped down there. All right, Jeremy, how many humans slash whatever is that going to leave you with? I have, uh, I still have after they get bounced 16 snakes and four humans that are untapped. So 20 total one, one ones. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, Kyle, you're covering my life total here. So yeah. oh, I'm at 21, exactly 21. You say, yeah, I've got you yep. 21. So I would be at a one life point if you have absolutely nothing else. Which I know you do. Are they snakes and humans, huh? Snakes and humans, yep. Ugh. All right. Well, I would like to not immediately lose the game. So I'm, I'm going to cycle a card that I really wanted to keep till next turn. Uh, I will cycle a Chroma's Vengeance uh, and make two Drakes. Which will just be these two because the other one's going to get bounced. So. Uh, and I will have the crystalline copy a um, mm, it could just stay as it is okay so Gabby's got bounced to my hand so all the bounces happen yeah and then I end up with two drakes yeah uh, the creature comes into play as just a creature since it didn't have a target yep Um, now, Jeremy, look at that side of the board. That side of the board that I can't do much about right now? Hey, I'm just saying, you can't do much about it once you lose, when you lose me for sure. Yeah, see, I, I you killed me, and now I can't do anything either. Yeah, I wanted to use that Acromos Vengeance to clear the board. I am going to... Jeremy. Uh, yeah. Kill John. See, don't don't listen to him. All right. I'm going to mutate can't, can't this mutate Otrevian on onto one of these snakes. Yeah. So there's a snaky boy under here. Yep. Yeah. So you made a seven seven then? I made a seven seven. Or excuse me, it, it doesn't get whatever. It is. Which yeah. creature is it? Is it the snake or the other creature? Uh, so this one is just a seven seven. It comes into play since the mutate target huh. was gone. Yeah. And then uh, I'm playing a tree onto a snake. So it's just a a tree with a snake token underneath it that doesn't have any abilities on it. Um, and I will attack John. I see you don't have to do this for six. What I'll do you have right now? I'll take the six. Kyle. I don't know. Kyle keeps covering our life totals. Yeah, Kyle. You're at, uh, t well, you're at 21. So 21. He was he's still at 21 from a minute ago. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this would be yeah, 26 total if I swung with everything. That would knock you out. It would indeed. Get him a body bag, Jeremy. Yeah, let's just knock you uh, out. Ah, you're gonna regret it. Steve's gonna, gonna regret it. And attack you. I what am I gonna do? I can't attack Steven. Kill him I mean, emotionally. Wait, but yeah. You know. okay. okay, okay. You I'll, know what? I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll attack you for no, I'll attack you I'll for six. It. I'll I'll <laughs> wait. I'll wait emotionally and then I'll I'll take what the is third going place. On here? Are you really not attacking him? I'll take third place, I guess. <laughs> That's what you want, right? I just wow. know what actually is going on. Are you killing him? No, I'm not. Him. Okay. All right. So, a tree has trample, right? Yeah. And it's a six four? It is a six six. Six six, so I can absorb four and I take twenty two, is that right? Yep. All right, I'm dead. All right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get mm -hmm. I'm gonna get uh Mind Bleacher back to my hand from Trimmy's trigger. Yep. Tap three, play Bonder's Ornament. I don't know what that does. Tap to add one mana of any color. 
Yeah. And tap four, tap it. Each player controls a permanent named Bonders ornament, draws a card. Okay, so nothing. Nothing really. Pass the turn. All right. And you're tapped out? I am tapped out. sure is. Out. Okay, the famous, seven, seven. famous words. So how much you're general damage? You're tapped out, you idiot. Is what how much general damage do you have on you? <sighs> Enough. So I have a Kessig Wolf run that I just played? Great. Jeremy is One, six, two... Count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I could pump it for eleven, and it's a seven. 18. That's not enough. Uh, Eighteen and six is twenty-four. That is definitely enough. Yeah, but he has, a, he has a seven-seven blocker. I do uh, have a seven-seven blocker. Mm. Um. So what we'll do is, um, all it's right. actually nineteen because there's. I'm no just gonna kill you. I have a common storm. Oh, oh boy. Well. So okay. I'll, I'll go to attackers, turn Calamax sideways, and then I'll comment storm you three times. Yeah, that's a lot. You're dead. Yep. You're okay. deader, You're deader than everyone. I was, yeah. went to exactly zero. Just you went to three, just keep, four, just keep four, clicking. Four, Cloud, just keep four, clicking. Four, just keep four, clicking. Maybe for 36. It goes to zero. You forgot that signet. Don't forget the signet. Oh. 37. <laughs> All right, Steven, you feeling good, buddy? Cal oh, yeah. yeah. Too bad I didn't have any lightning bolts for copy. <laughs> Can you believe wizards didn't put lightning bolts? <laughs> it gave me Comet Storm. That's one big lightning bolt. I know. It's a giant lightning bolt. Yeah, I almost had enough to kill you from the start of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple man off from just killing you. You like that hero play? That was a yeah, that one. was sweet. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, he's pretty sweet, you know. I think the deck, uh, the deck that I played is like, uh, like really like a white red deck, um, and it just does like a white red deck does. Yeah, sure. The only thing I have to say about this guy is he's an abuser because you saw with Wilderness Reclamation how good he was. Well, yeah, that was I just good. had Seaborn Muse instead. Well, it would have been worse. And every you know every turn I'm untapping. So that more is worse than wilderness reclamation because you don't want to untap your general. That's the, well, that's what I'm saying though. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe can I choose not to untap? Right no, now? you can't. Uh, no, it's no. untap. Reclamation is just better. For uh, that. Maybe, maybe I just put something in my deck that lets me tap it every turn though. Sure, I guess. Just being able to use my mana for every player's turn seems pretty. Yeah, be pretty. I good. mean, even putting something as simple as like spring leaf drum. Yeah. In there. Yeah. Just it's something like, to tap it whenever I need to, yeah. yeah. Basically, I never I need to I need to like come in to play Kismet effects and I just need to play them with it because I never want to untapped. I always oh. want to tap. You could play a vehicle. Oh, a vehicle would be good. Some some way that made all creatures come to play tapped and just all my creatures did that, you know. Because I always want it tapped for the ability until it's attacking. And then yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, Calamex seems strong. The uh, the mutate stuff seems like it can get out of hand really fast. Yeah, yeah. You made your creature really big real quick. Very yeah, scary. an eleven eleven flyer, yeah, like it, turn five or whatever six whatever it was. It was pretty good. Yeah, you probably would have killed somebody if you took the risk on no trimmy for that. Yeah, that last mutate. I was really thinking it, but man, just the idea like it, it's it's even more hesitant than you know usual because it's. It's basically just like putting a bunch of enchantments onto one creature that you yeah. just don't have hexproof on, and it's like, well, I'm going to bounce it. So all your work is set back by like four turns. Yep. So and no tree me is even worse because if it dies, all those creatures go to the command zone, and I can't cast them again. That so. doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's no. Weird. Like, I get it because well, I, I get it. I guess just from a design perspective, because Otrimi says, like, okay. It says whenever this creature deals damage to a player, return target creature card with mutate from your graveyard to your hand. Mm -hmm. So if, but if if the rules say you exile them, then it like goes against literally what it says on the card. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Calamax is easy to understand. Just saying. Just that's what we look. Just another thing that they need to change in the commander rules that when a commander dies, it goes to the graveyard first and then gets exiled. Yes, please. That would be. That is the one thing. That'd be pretty sweet. Bothers me. Yeah, yeah it's just nonsensical. Yeah, you make, there you make some cards bad for no reason. It's not like it. It's not like changing something like that makes something too good. You just make well, bad cards not. not no, bad. I think what they've said is that in the like comprehensive rules, it's difficult to make that work. No, it's not. In the, the weirdness of how magic works. Cool. Yeah, really? really? They just they just printed the set of Gloria. They can figure it out. <laughs> 
Well, they changed four layers in this set, right? Four ish layers. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, here's the real issue. They changed all those layers, and no one who isn't a judge really understands layers anyway. Right? <laughs> you have to look it's it up true. every time. So what's they changed the rules again. I know you one of the weird things. If it's complicated, one, it's complicated. One of the weird things with mutate, and this was probably expressed uh, earlier in the uh, in, I know some people brought it up uh, online and stuff is if you it, this because it's in standard it's very relevant if you animate a land with Nissa and then mutate onto it it is a zero zero with three counters on it so it's even if your creature is like a six six you mutate it's just a three three because it's a characteristic defining ability that is a zero zero because Nissa makes it a zero zero land yeah and so oh, yeah it they, is a zero zero creature with three counters on it. And I believe that's new because they, they changed where the uh, power and toughness defining characteristics are applied in a layer. Yeah, it was, I think it was, was applied in layer seven, now it's applied in layer well, six or something along that line. So it changed so I can't mutate onto it and choose the, the creature I'm mutating with and then it'd be that, like a three, four with three counters on it. That if was. you If you make it on top, the land itself has the characteristic defining ability of it as a zero, zero land with three counters on it. And so the power and toughness of the whole creature is a zero zero because it applies yeah. in a different yeah. layer. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. news. Probably not going to come up in commander. No, no, sure. Sure. Good news. Probably. Just because we learned that no one is going to mutate onto their nest <laughs> Oh no, that's going to happen. Someone's going to get gone. It'll happen. And it's going to happen in digital form. And they're going to be like, wait, what happened? The other right. funny one was like uh, something about like, I, I saw this on a, a podcast. I think it was Good Luck High Five when they were ex explaining the rules. If you mutate onto like um, Clothis, the god, and it makes your because it's a, a you know it, like say you have seven devotion. If you mutate something that's not red green on top of it, and it lowers the devotion, it means that it's no longer a creature. But because of the way everything works, it doesn't have any permanent types. Like it's not an enchantment, it's not a god, it's not a creature, it doesn't have any creature it's, types. It's just under the mutate. Or it's just a permanent card. It is it's just until you get the devotion back, it just sits there and has whatever the static abilities are on all the cards that are on it. So it's Wait, just yeah, it's, it's, it's wild to like oh, yeah. see all these corner ca cases. Well, fortunately, uh, you know, a lot of magic played on the digital realm these days. Yep. So. Yeah. We'll, uh, we won't really have to worry about it. It'll just do it for us. And, and we won't know if it's right or wrong. And uh, people aren't, uh, you know, I don't think people should be listening to us about rules for cards anyway. No. So no, <laughs> no reason for us to take 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 educated guesses. Nope. Yeah. Um, John, I felt like uh, had you not gotten stuck on lands in the first few turns of the game, I uh, would have been. It would have been. This deck has a lot of power to it, but it yeah. does. It is mana hungry, which yeah, is I why thought you, were just gonna you, be you need to play a land every turn. Yes, like the fluctuator didn't actually do anything. I didn't yeah. have any cycling cards to do anything with it. So, but I'm not gonna. You know, I'm gonna keep a a three land fluctuator. Yeah, if I'm, being, if I'm being honest with you, if the card fluctuator is in your deck, I don't know how you could get a start in seven and then have a cycling card in it. I mean, well, I think when John, I think when John the deck, that, that won't happen. Well, even still, even if there's 40 cycling cards in my deck, that still means there's more than half that aren't. Like, it just happens. Yeah. Well, yeah, that that more than half that aren't are lands. All, all the <laughs> yeah, are, uh, all lands. I think all of us would have kept a three lane hand with fluctuator and with no cycling cards. Uh, yeah, I'll do it have, again. I would have snap kept that. I was just saying, like, yeah. he just did. And a Drake Haven. Yeah, that would have yeah. been yeah. snapped. Oh, that was good. It was good. Yeah, that would have been. But it, it definitely, that's probably why they put the signets. You know, arcane and the three original signets. And yeah, yours has a lot of rocks in it. Yeah, I think it has like five or six. Yeah, um, it needs it though. It needs it. You, you need you need to add you need to add mana at least one every single turn the whole game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this so. mana scape refractor did some work too because taking your cards with the the one card like exiling the top, I was like, oh yeah, I can you know make white with this, I can make red with this or whatever, and I could I can play all those cards because this can has all those activated abilities. It's not just your side it's all activities of all lands so yeah i liked everything we played i didn't see the we obviously didn't see one of the decks the only complaint i have about these precons right now is that they didn't put the trial lands in each precon uh, yeah come on i actually yeah, just, I don't need trial lands. 
I don't under. It's not about needing them. I don't understand how you don't release those together and just because you're trying to. Oh, sell I understand. Them. Yeah, that's your. Yeah. I think you. I think you should have gave everybody one. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, the Mardu one can definitely uh, have a few tweaks in it and be real good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just is just upset that the two decks he wanted to play were both imposter black decks. They were imposter black decks. Uh, the the Mardu deck is a white red deck, and the uh, Abzan deck is a white green deck. Yeah. They, like black is the least represented color. Just like that's what I'm saying. Like I think you could add a bunch of black to it and yeah. make it like a pretty good deck. Well. We'll see in six months. You know where you you know where you made a mistake at with this? You I started didn't. the aggression with me. I didn't, Stephen. I didn't. Yes, I, you did. You had the impetus. I never attacked. You go to my creature okay. into attacking them two, which is how you died first, because you made enemies oh, at the end of the game. Oh, yeah. That was the aggression. There was going to be something. You looked at me. You 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 called me out for for putting my name as Redbeck wins. I was about to yeah. ask why is it Redbeck wins again? You just mistyped. You just missed. Typo. Yeah, so what? I mistyped it. Who cares? Who cares? Anyone at home care? No. Okay. <laughs> coming right. you, coming at how you uh, ended up with your uh, boy Redback wins. Deal with it. Isn't that how you ended up with one of your original emails too? What do you mean? I no, you I did that on purpose. I did okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> I actually really like all of these decks, despite uh, the poor showing of the Mardu deck. Yeah, it um, was a poor show, and it's like the worst. It's like the worst precon I've ever seen get played on the show. I don't know. Not sure. Wizards. We've had some wizards. Yeah, was, played, that was as bad as wizards. Would you? No, would you I play got, that turn that I wasn't a signet? That one too. You played, you played four spells that weren't a signet that whole game and died. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you did this last game. You, you literally played four signets. You played a wrath of god, and then you died. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've not had good luck with precons when we play yeah. them for the first time. You know what? You know what they say about that when you don't have good luck? Get good. That I is true. They say get good. good. That's what the kids yeah. say. Yeah. Get good. The real, I think that what the defining decision was when Steven and I were deciding what deck I was want, I was going to play. And we we're just like, I was just like, I'll play a black deck. And you're like, I'll play this teamer deck. Same yeah. Difference. I would have played your deck. I would. I would have. In my hands, it would have came alive. That's I think all. I it's the coolest. It's not a black card, but I think it's the coolest of all the commanders. And it's not just. I, I thought that before we played today, but this is just reaffirming my decision. Yeah. The, that 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 specifically the 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 commander was one of the reasons I wanted to play that deck too. Yeah, it's that's a sweet it's card. A very sweet. Like card. a fair version of Riku, right? Isn't Riku just like? Yeah. Hey. You gotta pay yeah. It. I don't want to deal with that. I mean, it, it, I will say it breaks up the monotony. Like if you play Riku, I, I would say it, if you're going to copy spells, there's like all these things you have to play to like untap your creature, and you don't have to play that way now. If you yeah. have to play the Terminus, untap your creature to copy spells with this guy. Yeah. You just have to have him tapped. So the opposite, yeah. you play stuff that taps him and not untaps him. Yeah. The thing, the the thing with this is Riku. It it costs mana to. Copy. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You yeah, have also, sorceries, which is nice. But yeah, all, of these, all, all of these little like evolution charm, lightning bolt, yeah, uh, like all this, all this other little stuff, like that's not good with Riku because it's not worth the sure. investment to tap that mana. But with Calamax, it's actually good to cast those because the amount of mana you're putting into the effect you're getting is exponentially greater throughout the course of the game. So yeah. Steven, if you play other. these decks again, you can. Uh, you don't even have to splurge to play a Berserk and kill somebody. Card's a lot cheaper now, right? That's true. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, it goes from uh, 4 oh, to 8 to 16. You, wait, yeah. you, if, okay, if you're attacking and it's a 6-6 six, six and you cast Berserk, that's 21. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, because it turns into 7. And then you only get one copy, though. Yeah, that's all you need. That's 28. Well, yeah, because it's the first double. No, it's, tw double 21. it's 21. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's 14 Wait. doubled again to 28. Wait, so if you cast it, hold on. It's a 4 4, right? Originally, yeah. So you cast it, it's a 5 5 that doubles into a 10 10 or yeah. a 10 power creature. And, and then, then it doubles again into a 20. Yeah. So, so you, you need, need to have one other one. spell. Yeah. One other spell in Berserk is pretty, that's pretty good. Berserk, you, one spell first Berserk. Spell you cast for the turn, though, it doesn't work. You only get it for the first spell, the copy. Okay. So you need to have it a little bit bigger. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, the, 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 
But yeah. all you have to do is just cast it. You cast Berserk. It's going to copy that. Then you just cast another spell before Berserk resolve. Resolves. Yeah. Plus one counter. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't need to ca copy it. Or anything. Yeah. Yeah. You heard yeah, it here first. Calamax Berserk coming at you. Yeah. To that's, a, that's to a, I would say a commander game near you, but a digital commander game near you. Yeah, Calamax is pretty dope. All right. Uh, any other thoughts on these decks before we go? We didn't play the Abzan deck. I would like to because I really like the commander for it. That's why I wanted to play it, but I, I felt like this deck was like more up my alley, just making a bunch of tokens and like sacrificing them, and that didn't come together. So, um, the art for the card's really cool. I'll say that it's crazy looking, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, it's a nightmare insect. I think Wizards did a pretty good job on these decks. This is the first year I like all of the decks, like all five. Yeah. Well, like I said, now we I ain't really got to see that other one in action. Yeah. I don't know what the Mardu deck did because we never saw. So, you know, I only got to see three of them play. Man. Well, thanks to Wizards for, uh, yeah. for the Commander deck. Yeah, thanks, Wizards. <laughs> Justin, I'm sorry. You can put a little more black cards in both of those decks next time, huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Justin. What's wrong with y'all? Pretty rough. Nah. There's a lot of black cards in the Otrimi deck. Yeah, Jeremy played that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I played it specifically because... Oh, what? Oh, <sighs> Zexara. I feel like I'm sorry, like sometime, sometime in the near future. Justin, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I, I've been a little harsh to you. Uh, yeah, so it's been thanks a while to Wizards. Played, you know, it's been building up. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed uh, Commander 2020. It's It seems seems pretty sweet. Uh, I think we got to see two and a half decks do their thing. John's deck was like yeah. very close to doing its thing. Yeah. Yeah. But then he died. Yeah. It didn't, I it didn't, it didn't if I had a turn, I was going to try and clear the board and then try and do some stuff, but you know, here we go. So, we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll see more stuff out of Commander and Aquaria when it comes out. We obviously we don't have the ability to get our hands on Aquaria cards quite yet, but when as soon as we do, rest assured, uh, we will bring you Aquaria stuff. I guess that's the best we can do. So, yeah. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, there's no Twitch. For now, there's a zero percent chance we would be able to not mess this up if we did this live. So, uh, you, yeah, we did a warning for language for sure because uh, Stephen, in the comfort of his own home, in the comfort of my own home, in between takes, uh, yeah, yeah. Also, for the folks at home, because we talked about like, hey, we're not going to do Twitch, and then. Immediately after we got done with our intro today, John's computer shut off and his yeah. whole mic and camera and everything went offline. And we were like, well, this was live. That would have sucked. Yep. No, i had been fine because it was like right as we stopped. It's true. It was literally in the middle. I would have got back before we would have came back from the from the three minute three minute break. break. And like nothing happened. Yeah, no, anyway, but on YouTube, like, comment, share, subscribe, binge. All five. Okay. You had time to binge. This is a long yeah. layoff. You guys have been doing a fair amount of binging. Just keep it up. Yeah, we've got some, some comments. Thank you to everybody who's binging. Yeah, keep that binging up. You're doing great. Okay, get your friends to binge. Okay, that's always a safe thing to suggest. Um, if you're on Twitter, use hashtag CMDRVS, hashtag Commander Versus. Uh, follow us at Jeremy Knoll, at Redneck Wins, at A Natural Death, and at JParnell1. And of course, at DIR Kyle West, hashtag Scoops. Um, there could be, who knows what amount of scoops you could get. Who really knows, ever. I, and I mean that literally, like, I, who who knows? I don't know. Kyle, could you give you could know the scoop on this? I, I thought about taking a picture, but my desk was very dirty. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you don't get the crumbs scoops. from earlier. Yeah, you don't get scoops because Kyle is a filthy, filthy man. Yeah, so maybe, maybe next time. May, you should probably, like, you should tweet... Uh, the day before this goes live, you should tweet, hey, are you subscribed to YouTube? And just, just, you know, just leave it at that and see if people pick it up. And then the people that follow you got a scoop and the people that didn't, didn't get a scoop. Yeah, but this doesn't help anyone because this will come out after I post that. Well, this is a punishment for the people that didn't follow you before. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, Kyle, I'm going to send you a picture. I got the scoop for you, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you can't control him. He's in his own home. That's yeah, true. I can't do. stop him. Out of here is the best you can do. Yeah, I'm um, you scoop, my dude. Don't worry. Well, we're gonna give it a shot this season. This setup, we're gonna obviously try to improve things. Uh, feel free to to give us suggestions. I know you uh, were waiting for my blessing to do so, and you definitely would not have done so otherwise. So you definitely didn't pause the video. 
to comment. You didn't pause the video to comment. It's true. Give us constructive criticism. Yeah. There you go, Kyle. There's your scoop that you can tweet out from You're me. asking for too much with constructive criticism. I know. Any criticism. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think that's it. That's the show. Hopefully we can keep it going and make make this season a real season and maybe maybe the world will be back to normal by the time we're done. Hopefully yeah. really hopefully everybody's safe. Was that your version of taking off your your headset? Yeah, home? yeah, it was. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, uh, stay safe, wash your hands, take care of yourself, uh, be informed. But otherwise, for Jeremy Knoll, for Stephen Green, for John Suarez, for Dr. Kyle West, see you folks next time.